HP Omen 32. Does it live its hype? Let's find out. Hey guys, um, Ivan Ustek here. In uh, today's video, I'm just going to do a review of my new monitor. It is the HP Omen 32. It has the resolution of 2560 by 1440p and also it has its featured um, 75 hertz of FreeSync um, gaming. If you have Nvid uh, Nvidia, Nvidia graphics card, you may experience uh, screen tearing, but if you turn on the VSync, um, you should be fine. So this monitor has a response time of 8 milliseconds, and uh, as soon as I turn it on, I change to um, to the fastest one, which is the 5 milliseconds. Um, I was coming down from 144 hertz, uh, 27 inches monitor, and then I changed to 32. But honestly, and honestly, I, I, I can't, I can't play, I can't go back to 27 inches as this one is really, really nice. And uh, as you can see, the picture quality is really good. So um, we're just gonna go navigate the back panel of the. Um, the monitor. Uh, oh, we're gonna play in the buttons in the back. Um, first of all, we're gonna go for a quick view. You can see we have different kind of uh, presets here. We'll go for HP enhance, and when you when you go in there, you have uh, options here. It says low, medium, high. Basically, adjusting the contrast, and uh, we're just gonna leave it for low for now. And then you get on you go down to gaming free sync, which is that. Photo movie text custom. Mine is on custom settings, so I think I should be good for it. And then uh, the topmost button is the main menu. Pretty much you address you can adjust the brightness, contrast, color control. Input control, image control, power control, menu control, management. And um, <clears throat> to adjust the response time, I think you go to image control. And then you go response time. I already set to the fastest one, which is 5 milliseconds, comparing to the default is 8 milliseconds. Alright. Exit, exit, there you go. So you can see in the back, uh, it has a uh, visa. It is a visa compatible. Basically, you just attach this um, attachment with a thumb screw on it, and you got four points: one, two, three, four. Mm, the thumb screw. Basically, uh, you connect this to to wall mount. So we are watching a Star Wars 4K trailer. Jim. Whatever I do, I do it to protect you. So you understand? I understand. You want to get out of here? Our rebellion is all that remains to push back the Empire. We think you might be able to help us. When was the last time you were in contact with your father? What is this? It appears he is critical to the development of a super weapon. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. All right. How many do I need? They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. The power that we are dealing with here is immeasurable. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? We have hope. Rebellions are built on hope. No idea we're coming. 
take hold of this moment. The force is strong. Make ten men feel like a hundred. We'll take the next chance. And the next. You're rebels, aren't you? Save the rebellion! Save the dream! So there goes the Star Wars trailer and uh, it's gonna be opening on December 16th but anyway uh, this monitor it has a AMVA panel it's not as good as IPS panel but not as bad as the TN panel and um, I got this with no light bleeding dead pixel and color shifting whatsoever and especially when you view it in an angle and uh, it's it's really impressive I'm really impressed with the display you know right off the box and I have it dialed in without too much fuzz and really didn't think that moving from from a 27 inches to a 32 display would be much but it is actually a pretty significant increase in desktop settings especially that uh, the one I have uh, I have a very small um, ITX build anyway this uh, Omen 32 is a 16 by 9 ratio and it has a 100% sRGB colors meaning it's really really accurate in colors and uh, it's really great for photos while well, movies look absolutely stunning in you know you saw the Star Wars trailer but it's nothing really compared when you're in person watching this and uh, also the game uh, the game especially the games so with the 75 Hertz refresh rate and also the five five milliseconds response time and uh, it has really a uh, minimal branding and a unique stand while the stand does not really have any height or swivel adjustments it does still satisfactorily but I have this wall mounted anyway and it does really look good on my settings so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, you can comment and leave suggestions also check the link in description down below for this product please subscribe if you are new to this channel and uh, thank you for watching